What's up, Lebron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. Now, warning as we get started, this video is gonna be just me talking. There's not gonna, there isn't any artistic value necessarily in this video. I wanna share with you some of the recent experiences and updates that I think are due, and also to uh, use your guidance for something that I'm working on. So first, let's talk about the update, that's the art fair. So if you've been following me around, you know, I started showing and presenting and selling my art in a local art fair here in Tel Aviv, in Nachalat Binyamin. It's like the biggest art fair in, in Tel Aviv and probably in Israel, like the, the one that's always there. There are bigger fairs, probably there are seasonal, but this one's always there. It's been there for like 30 years. I'm very familiar with it. I've visited it many times when I was younger as well. And um, it's a fair for um, uh, handmade stuff. So you can't sell prints or any of that things. Anything that's machine made, you can't sell. You can only sell um, arts and crafts that were handmade. Okay, so I'm actually sell selling original paintings there. Now, the reason I decided to go there, and again, sorry if you read the email or listened to the podcast, because I talked about some of these things, but the reason I decided to share my art there is twofold. First, I wanted to start selling the paintings. I have tons of them laying around here doing nothing. I want to sell them and the second I would say is to um, have the experience of selling stuff face to face interacting with people seeing how they react to my art when they see it what it grabs their attention when they walk by the booth uh, a lot of things that I think will be good for me personally and for my own growth okay now I set a goal for myself financial of how much money I want to make there and I'm actually I reach I'm reaching it I'm on track for reaching it I'm, it's a monthly goal and I've been there only twice, but from what I experienced so far, I sold enough to hit it, okay? Because I do want to make that time worthwhile, because you have to understand, it's it's twice a week on Tuesday and Friday. On Tuesday, it's eight hours. On Friday, it's seven hours. Together, that's 15 hours times four weeks uh, a month. That's 60 hours a month of being there. So it's actually like a third of a, of a job. It's like it's a part-time job, basically. Um, and uh, the process uh, to get accepted, uh, I submitted my work, they accepted me, and then the commitment is on a two months basis. So you pay in advance for two months of showing your art there, and you start showing it. So I have May and June there, uh, and I'm testing things out, but so far so good. Now, the downside of this is time. 60 hours per month is a lot. And I find myself kind of struggling to keep up with videos and with the, the posts and with just answering messages, replying to comments, and most importantly, working on my own online business of selling courses and, and the sales funnel and the marketing. And it's just a challenge to wrap all of this together. But I'm not complaining. Uh, actually, things are going according to plan with the fair, so I'm really excited and I did go there for a reason. So I'm not complaining, I'm just, I just wanna share with you um, it is a challenging time and if you see some of my posts declining in frequency or stuff like that I apologize in advance I try for that not to happen but I can't control it it's just there's a lot to do um, but I'm doing my best to keep up with it but I just wanted to give you this update and let you know by the way if you're in Tel Aviv uh, so Tuesday and Friday feel free to come say hi in Nachalat Binyamin it's a very well-known art fair I'm gonna be there <laughs> and you can uh, purchase a painting if you want it's a bit of a reduced rate because it's like the fair prices. It's a bit different uh, than selling online. So that's a good opportunity to see me. Come say hi. Um, and yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. I will do my best to not drop in the quality of content. And I will have to figure out how to do the rest of the things. And hopefully I will. So that's one. Number two. Uh, I am working on talking about system and courses and the, the system that brings me income. The online business. I am working on an idea in mind. So I have two ideas basically. First is to have a bunch of courses that that deal with self-development and art and painting. Uh, and that is, if you've seen my video for life lessons from watercolor painting, that's it's that. Um, I wanna do, I wanna create a product that will help people with their creativity and courage to create and just with becoming more efficient and better at what they do. Um, these are the things that interest me even more than just teaching the technical side because you see me here I'm doing tutorials because it's very practical it's my way of giving value but with time I slowly come to realize that what what 
excites me the most is to help others. When someone writes a comment of, I, I didn't have motivation for a couple of months and then I binge watched your videos and I got it and I went and created and it turned out really nicely. Um, that's the thing that interests me even more than someone telling me I finally mastered how to do a wash. I love both. I really enjoy teaching the technical, practical side of things. But with that, I think what fascinates me more as a person is to help on a more personal level. Uh, so this is why I'm considering doing a bunch of courses on that. Um, but for the longest time, I, I was, I knew that this is the direction I'm headed, but I was kind of avoiding it for the, the reason of, I don't want to sound like, you know, these coach kind of people, the, the, the motivational speakers, that's not my thing. I want to be very practical. Uh, and so I was kind of delaying it, but now I figure that it's probably about time to start thinking of on that and planning it. So my question to you is very simple. What's, and I ask this for, on Instagram sometimes and on Twitter, what's your biggest struggle currently? Uh, it can be artistic, it can be um, creative related, creativity related, it can be personal, like whatever that is, I'm interested to know because that will help me maybe find in finding a common thread to talk about in the in these kinds of courses now i'm not leaving the whole actual practical painting drawing sketching skills i will do separate courses on those but i am interested in making something about the self-development and how to make yourself better and your life better and become more creative and more fun and even more happy using art so i want to hear your frustration or your uh, this will be of huge help to me uh, if you can write down in a comment down below what's the thing you're, you, you are struggling with or causes you pain um, emotionally or artistically or creatively or with painting even specifically or with drawing um, and that will really help me to figure out the thing that people need help with the most and for that product. Now the second thing I wanted to talk to you about has a, a sub sub subject uh, and that is, I am also working on a true uh, watercolor group of courses like I did with the drawing that I have now, now the drawing course, shading and sketching people. So now I'm working on a series of watercolor, pure watercolor, no self-development, that's just pure watercolor. I, I will be working on that hopefully this year. Um, so I'm curious to hear in a beginner's watercolor course, what are some of the topics that interest you in learning, okay? Is it how to master the techniques? Is it how to handle the very basics of handling paint uh, on the palette and with the brush? Is it color theory? Is it, I don't know, even composition and the more basic skills? If you're gonna purchase a course about watercolor painting, I don't know, it's gonna be like 20 something bucks, $24 maybe. What is the thing that you feel like you need help with the most and you expect to have in that kind of course, okay? I will do this and there's gonna be, I wanna do a specific course on color theory and using colors and how to choose your colors and even specific brands that I recommend and prices and how to create your unique palette. I wanna do a course on that. I wanna do a course that's dedicated to maybe to landscapes or portraits. I wanna do a bunch of stuff, but for the main first course in this kind of series, what would you like to learn more in regards to watercolor? Is it maybe even drawing? How to draw as a preparation for a painting? You know, feel free to let me know. Is it reading the values? Is it optical illusions? How to avoid them? Everything and anything that you want to learn in a beginner's course to watercolor, let me know in a comment down below. So these are the two topics I wanted to talk to you about today. And I will do my best to continue posting videos regularly um, in the regular frequency as I always have been doing, doing for like a long time. And wait, wait, one last thing that I forgot and I had to do another take so I'm wearing a different shirt. Um, I, if you remember, I quit Patreon, I don't know, a while back because it just didn't feel right to put my content behind a paywall. Now, ever since then, I received a lot of emails asking me how uh, can someone donate and help. Uh, now, I didn't know what to do, so I looked online for some solutions and the best solution I found was Patreon. So what I did now is I reopened my Patreon page. I'm not gonna market it here. It's just if someone sends me an email and lets me know uh, that they wanna support me, I just send them over there. The one thing that I did promise I will do is put credits 
for the patron patrons in the end of the video okay so that's what i'm gonna do because i didn't want to do perks i didn't want, want to put stuff behind the paywall i don't want any of that okay so the patron is just a technical solution i'm using right now to accept donations but i wanted to tell you this because in every outro there is going to be the names of the patrons running down in the, at the bottom of the screen so just to let you know uh, and once again thank you so much and i will see you again in another vid real soon